the heck? <laughs> ah, this is not a good start to the day. I just broke my favorite earrings. I don't even know if you can see that because it's so small, but the back of the earring just broke in my ear. Well, I guess the only choice is to go with hoops today. So if you haven't already been able to tell, we've got the Google Pixel 9 XL in the rose quartz colorway. I'm not the type of person to charge my phone overnight, so usually one of the first things that I do when I start the day is to throw the phone on a charger. So as you can see right now, it's at about 90%, so we're just gonna charge that up to 100 and see how it does for the day. So I figure while we're waiting for the water to boil, we can talk a little bit about this phone. If you want, you can wait until the Google Pixel 9 Pro drops. So it's a smaller form factor of this. As a matter of fact, it's the exact same size as a regular Google Pixel 9, but with all of the Pro features. So obviously it's very easy to tell that there's a lot of differences with this phone. So just right off the top, you can tell the edges are now a glossy finish and flat like the iPhones are. The visor for the camera is also different, so it doesn't go all the way to the edges. It's got these nice round corners, and then you got a nice matte glass finish on the back. I personally like it a lot. I also like this colorway a lot. It took me a little bit to get used to it. Um, Google did send me this phone for review, so I was surprised when they sent me the rose quartz instead of literally anything else. But now that I've been using it, this is honestly my favorite color for the year. Now, the biggest thing with these phones this year is obviously the AI. We're gonna get into the AI stuff a little bit later, but one thing I did wanna show you right now in terms of the new AI features is the updated Pixel weather app. So jumping into the weather app, it's been updated. It looks a lot better now. I just prefer the layout of this. It's just very Google to me. Everything looks very sleek and nice. But one of the brand new features that they've added to this is AI interpretation. Rather than having to look at the app yourself, you get an AI report just at the top of the screen here. It gives you a quick summary of everything that you need to know about today's weather. You're not having to go through everything, figure it out yourself. I did it in bed this morning. You probably didn't notice that. And it's just something new that I personally like about these phones. So kettle is finally about to boil. Let's get some tea. I tell people all the time that if you want to preserve your battery, do not charge your phone overnight, especially with the Google Pixel 9 XL, because this is able to charge up to 70% in just 30 minutes if you have a 45 watt USB-C charger. So I left it on a little bit longer than necessary, but you can see it's 751 and I'm at 100% now. And I think I woke up at like 81, so it hasn't really been charging that long. But anyways, it's gonna be a super busy day. We've got a meeting downtown Toronto with Sony. I also hired a new cameraman, so this is gonna be his first gig because things have just been so crazy right now with not just the YouTube channel, but TikTok and everything else. We're just trying to find more ways to create more time for myself while continuing to elevate the content. So as always, I would appreciate if you guys gave me a like and a follow on this video because we're gonna get pretty in depth with this phone here. And because of how strict our schedule is today, I'm not gonna be able to make it to the gym. So we're gonna do a quick AI workout downstairs in the basement. But first, I just gotta quickly clean up the kitchen, mostly clean the floors and then we're good to go. So let's hop into the vacuuming real quick. Oh yeah, and if you're wondering, the Google Pixel Buds Pro 2s aren't out yet, so these are just the original Pixel Buds Pro. These have been my favorite earbuds to use. They just are the most comfortable for my ears for whatever reason, and I really enjoy the sound quality and noise canceling, so that's what we're rocking with for the day. Quick side note, when it comes to cleaning floors, this thing is an absolute cheat code. I'm sure other brands make it, but this one is from Sharp. All I do is I throw some distilled water in it. It's just a, a floor steamer. It's way faster than, you know, mop and bucket and you gotta deal with the dirty water and all that stuff. So I just throw in some distilled water. It comes with a bunch of different styles of pads. I wash these after every use and I just use like those little scent beads and fabric softener just to get the smell on the floors as well. It's perfect. Okay, so the time is now 
826 and we are at 98% battery, I believe. I had to take a quick break just to transfer over footage to make sure I didn't lose it before I go downtown. So as I was saying, there's a ton of new features on the Pixel lineup this year. So Gemini AI is absolutely crazy now. There's one feature that I wanted to test out. I've been playing with it a little bit over the past little week. So bear with me when it comes to this example that we're gonna try. Like I said, I can't make it to the gym. So I'm gonna use my little modest gym that I have downstairs. And we're gonna try to use Gemini AI to see if it can put me through a 30 minute workout. Okay, so let me give you a quick tour of the gym. So we've got right behind me a flat bench that uh, is not adjustable, unfortunately. And then here we have my dumbbell rack. It only goes up to 30 pounds. I use these for push-ups. And then we've got the recovery sauna behind me. That's just the rest of the basement down there. And my gaming setup is just right here, which is hilarious. But this is the gym and hopefully we're gonna see if Gemini AI can uh, help me figure out this situation. So I know what I would usually do for a workout, but I'm just gonna do what it says and you guys can be the judge. Hey Gemini, I'm trying to get a quick 30 minute shoulder workout in, but I only have dumbbells up to 30 pounds. All right, sounds like a challenge. Here's a quick 30 minute dumbbell shoulder workout. Ready to get started? Oh, and just a reminder, I don't provide medical advice or diagnoses. You should always talk to a medical professional. Yeah, I'm ready to get started. All right, I rec- So right now, this is one of the issues that I keep running into is that it starts off the conversation fine and then for whatever reason, it cuts out. I don't know if it's because it thinks that you're in the middle of conversation with it because it has that feature where you're able to cut it off and then it just adjusts to what you're saying after cutting Gemini off in conversation. So the workaround for that is if I just go to end, and then you can actually see the transcript of the conversation that you've been having. So if I wanna hear what Gemini was about to say, I can just click the little speaker here. All right, I recommend starting with a warm up. Try something light like arm circles or some light jumping jacks. Do that for five minutes or so, and then grab those dumbbells. All right, so Gemini says arm circles and jumping jacks for five minutes. Let's do that then. My ceiling's a bit too low for real jumping jacks, so we'll do halves. That was roughly five minutes, it's now 8.40, and it's nice because you can continue the conversation where you left off. What should my first shoulder exercise be? All right, after warming up, let's start with a classic, dumbbell shoulder presses. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart and hold a dumbbell in each hand up by your shoulders. Press the dumbbell straight up above your head until your arms are fully extended. All right, for your last exercise, let's hit those rear delts. Try three sets of bent over reverse flies. Start by hinging forward at the waist again, keeping your back flat. With those dumbbells in your hands, raise them out and up, squeezing their shoulder blades together at the top. How about three sets of Arnold presses? Hold a dumbbell in each hand up by your shoulders, with your palms facing you. As you press the weights overhead, rotate your forearms so your palms face forward at the top of the movement. Then, lower the weights back down to your shoulders, reversing the rotation. I want to finish with some push-ups. How many should I do? All right, a few push-ups sounds good. I would say shoot for three sets and see how many you can get out in each. I know Jim and I said three sets of push-ups, but we're gonna do one set of like maybe 30. That's about it. I'm not even gonna front. I only did 24 because I was gassed. Okay, so it's 9 a.m. We've got 94% battery. So like I said, I wasn't sure how that was gonna go. As you can see, it does cut out a little bit, but as I showed you, there's a couple of workarounds. Overall though, I got a good sweat. My shoulders got a little bit of a pump going. I got a new Gemini AI artificial intelligence personal trainer. 2024 is crazy. Just got a text from my boy Billy to confirm that we're meeting downtown at 11. So it's 9.02, that means I gotta shower up, pack my bags real quick, and get myself downtown. The studio's a bit of a mess right now. As you can see, I've been working on the actual review for the Pixel 9 Pro, but as I said, I gotta get myself downtown. We gotta get all this stuff packed up because I don't know what is gonna happen while we're down there. So I kinda just try to make sure that I have as much as possible so that I'm not really missing anything without being over encumbered, if that makes sense. So we're gonna pack the bag up real quick, then I gotta hop in the shower. I don't even know what I'm gonna eat. I might just wait till the lunch to eat my first meal of the day. Typically, I, I don't eat breakfast right away anyway, so hopefully, you know, I survive until 1 p.m. But it is what it is, man. Anyone that thought content creation, YouTubing, all that stuff was a nice, easy, stay-at-home life, it's not. When I'm round, they sh now, what's up now, this touchdown line. Hey, Nick from City be hating them Nick, don't show me no love. Hey, it is what it is, cause I'm brushing my shoulders, walk off with a shrug. Hey, this shit is a dub. Hey, this shit is a dub, Z. Hey, why am I all in my feelings when I got these people that love me? Hey, 
Okay, we're done packing, but quick side note, I'm gonna need somebody to just pay Apple the money to make MagSafe universal. I need magnets in the back of these phones. I'm so sick of having to buy these random third-party cases. Like, this one is actually not terrible. I don't even know what brand it is, but at least like the MagSafe ring, the MagSafe ring doubles as a stand, but the case quality is just so trash. And then I've got this guy here. Also, I don't know who makes this one either. I just ordered random cases on Amazon that had MagSafe rings in the back that weren't expensive. But as somebody who doesn't like to use cases on my phones as of late, it would be nice if I could just, boom, like you'll see when I get into my truck, how much I use MagSafe. I have a MagSafe mount, all that stuff. And it just makes more sense Sorry, the flashlight's on. And it just makes more sense to have the magnet in the damn phone for people like me so I don't have to keep putting it in a case and taking it out of a case, etc. Like, even on my desk here, my little MagSafe charging stand, I can't charge this on it anymore without putting a case on first. It's just frustrating. So hopefully one day somebody comes up with a MagSafe design or just pays Apple or maybe just take the same MagSafe ring but turn it upside down, like, would that still fall under the copyright? I don't know. Too many dig themselves a grave and all these things come out to play. I wanna feel your nothingness, I'm just a figment in your brain. So this is what I mean about the MagSafe thing where usually I'll just take my iPhone and then put it on my mount here. It's a charging mount, but I usually just take the charger out and just have it so that when I'm using Google Maps, it's easy, it's right there. Now, I gotta get one of these damn cases all the time, keep it in my car, put the case on, and then I can put it up. And it's like, I mean, yeah, it's doable, but like, it's just, it's just annoying. Be the best of me, never need a therapy. Just get them reading hella books and then defeat their enemies. This is the reason that you're free. This is the reason that you're wise. Fighting demons in the rise. So vividly reflected like a simple piece of symmetry. The reason them with life, no feeding them, no lie, no freedom. We're making pretty good time, so I figured I'd show you guys another pretty cool AI feature. So we got my boy Johnny Hochstetler here. He posted this pair of shoes right here. I need a new pair of jogging shoes. Mine have a massive hole in them, and apparently these are very comfortable. Now, I could just bother him and ask him, what are these? He's a busy guy, so the easiest way is to circle to search, which we all know about. So circle to search these, and it comes up that they are the Nike Air Zoom Pegasus 41 Volt, which all right, that's pretty cool. But now let's say I go to sport check the actual buy page, for example. So they're $179.99 Canadian. So the Pixel has a new screenshot app that uses AI. So it's hard to do screenshots with one hand on this phone, I find. So I just do it this way, scroll up and hold until the carousel pops up. And then there's a screenshot button just at the bottom here. So hit screenshot. It takes one of that screen. So now if I hop into the screenshots app that looks like this, you can see I have a bunch of screenshots already and the shoes are there. So what's cool is that it takes all the information in the screenshot and puts it into a little text area down here, which makes it all searchable. So that means, let's say I had a thousand screenshots and I want to quickly find those shoes again. I could just type in the word shoe and it's gonna pull up that screenshot, which fine, I know iOS does that, but it can be very specific. So if all I could remember is that the price of the shoe was 179, then I could just type in 179 and it should be able to pull it up as just that screenshot. It's able to integrate with other apps as well. So you're able to just quickly find information that you need. So for example, my buddy's baby shower is coming up. And if I just typed in baby shower, then boom, I have the screenshot right there and I'm good to go. So never kiss and never tell him. Listen when I tell him there's no wisdom in accepting till the system is rebelling. We got sisters we defending. Pressure builds like a fucking piston in the engine. Got me infinitely ending. I feel the roots in my fingertips, cluelessly moving shit. Nobody knows. Ended up driving instead of taking the train just because it was super cold outside and uncomfortable. It's 11.55 and we've got 68% battery, so not doing too terribly. Billy's apparently upstairs already just waiting, so we're gonna go meet up with him quick. Hopefully you guys can hear me because it's mad loud out here, but my boy Billy's here. Oh man, yo, what are you saying, bro? Yo, what's up, bro? What's good? You good? What's going on, man? Appreciate you helping me. Hold on. What's yes. up, guys? So he's going to be helping me out today. Like I said, uh, I've been needing help for time because things have been getting busy, and my man here decided to help me out. We've been talking for like probably up to a year at this point, yeah, but never actually easy. met. Yeah, until we would collab and whatnot, so we're finally getting that done right now. But before I talk about any more about me, let him shout himself out because he's on IG and everything too. So where can people find you, bro? 
What's up guys, my name is Vili, uh, aka Views with Vili. I'm a tech and lifestyle creator based in Toronto, born and raised in Toronto actually. Background in marketing and sales, but now I create content full time. Bad. So one thing for you, I wanna see your honest thoughts on oh. <laughs> the pink <laughs> Pixel 9 XL, Pixel 9 Pro XL. Um, a lot of people have been dissing me for this phone, but I wanna see what your honest thoughts are once you get your hands on it. it feels nice, bro. Like, it's not bad. I like the matte back. I don't mind the pebble, and, like, for the camera fixture. Mm -hmm. Oh, they, they, they changed this. Because look, this is a Pixel 8 Pro. And the SIM slot is on the bottom now. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. How do you think it feels in the handle? It feels better than this. Yeah? Yeah. And in my opinion, I think it's a little bit lighter. Yeah. I Honestly, I looked it up. It's actually heavier, but it's just more balanced. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know. I like it. The pink is hard. <laughs> the pink is hard. Now, we intentionally met up about an hour early, knowing that we needed to record a ton of B-roll for my Pixel 9 Pro XL review. At the time of recording this voiceover, the video is done, so I'll leave a link at the top of your screen. Is it really enough? Giving my heart and my soul, but still don't feel like enough. Feeling inadequate, still getting after it. Trust me, the feeling is tough. Feeling is rough. Hold on a second, I'm thinking too much. Really want to flow like water, but I don't drink it enough. Spending more time with my daughter. Really enjoying the innocence. Teaching the mind, I'm never tense. All of the things I've never been taught. Stuck in my mind, all of these thoughts throwing me off. After working through the mental shot list that I had in my head, we went to one last location to finish off a couple shots, just showing off how bright this screen actually gets. So if you weren't aware, this is actually the brightest smartphone on the market right now. Last year, the peak brightness on the 8 Pro was 2700 nits. This year, it goes up to 3000. So it was a pretty bright day and we had absolutely no trouble picking it up on camera in broad daylight. Now, like I said, my guy Billy knows the city well, so he intentionally brought us to a spot that was just one block away from the venue. So this is actually the second year that Sony's invited me out to a meeting like this. And what I really love about them is the fact that it doesn't feel transactional or forced. It honestly just feels like you're being invited out to lunch with a bunch of friends. We sit down, we talk, there's good conversation. There's a lot of laughs. And at the end of it, they really just do a check-in to touch base as to what it is that we wanna see. Now, one really cool surprise that I got from Jack over at Sony, I guess he's buddies with the guys over at Nomadic who created this really cool tech pouch in collaboration with Peter McKinnon. And honestly, since getting this thing, I've been using it like crazy for my Osmo Pocket 3. So who knows, maybe we might partner up with Nomadic in the future. So at this point, it was just after three with about 40% battery life. So it was time to get moving to the next thing. But first I had to get a quick photo with my guy Tosif because we've been to so many events together, but have zero photos with each other. A brand new feature this year on the Pixel is the new Add Me AI feature. I have my friend here, Tosef, he's standing by himself, but we're gonna use the Add Me feature to stitch myself in to a photo with him. I just quickly jump in to the Add Me section on the camera, and he's gonna pose for me, say cheese. So I take the photo, he's gonna grab the phone from me, and you can see it keeps him in place so he knows kind of where to line it up and then I'm just gonna do my best to pose beside him. Gonna be a severe height difference here, but uh, we're gonna make it work. Yo, it's like really uh, messing with my height here, bro. <laughs> it's, it's not my height, I hope you know that, guys. So I mean, <laughs> you can kind of see that it's AI and it doesn't look the greatest when you hyper analyze it, but overall it's a pretty cool feature if you wanna take a group photo, but there's only one person to do that for you. So obviously that one wasn't the greatest, but now that we're experts, we tried it one more time and it came out with this photo way better. Now, coincidentally, Tosif was actually working on a Pixel 9 Pro XL video as well. So after wrapping up the recording, he actually had to head home to go edit as well. All right, so the time is now 4.01 p.m. I know it's probably tough for you guys to see, but it's 4.01 p.m. and we are at 32% battery. Now, mind you, I've been up since 6.30 a.m. So the fact that we're at 32% isn't too bad. I realized while we were at the Sony lunch that I had my hotspot running the entire time. So it was actually tethered to my iPhone in my bag and sending me a ton of alerts. So that might have been why the battery is as low as it is. Because if you recall from the presser, these are supposed to have up to 100 hours of battery life if you turn the uh, battery saver on or power saver mode, which I didn't. But 31% for being up at six, what's that, like 10 hours so far? I got to say that's pretty good. So. We're gonna head to my buddy's podcast studio uh, on Bathurst. Check that out for a bit and hopefully the battery lasts. No guarantees, but that's all we got for now. So let's go.
So it says it's about a 12 minute drive and then the same issue that we had before is there's no MagSafe on this guy. So I'm just gonna quickly toss it in the case. That way I can put it on my mount and boom. But yeah, that lunch was a really good time, man. It's not too often that you find a brand that actually cares to actually sit down with you. Like usually everything feels so transactional where it's just like, we're gonna give you this product. We want you to do a review on it and that's it. And then like the next year when the next product comes out, they want the same thing again. It's really cool that Sony will pull us out, grab a couple of creators from the Toronto area, have a lunch with us, sit down, ask us questions, like genuinely interested in our process and the things that we do. And then genuinely interested in learning how they can improve their relationship with us as creators, the things that we want to see, the products that we want to see. They're not just, you know, business partners, but they're actually our friends, which is, it's, it's a, almost a strange thing to say in this industry, but you know, I really, really enjoyed that. Looking forward to the rest of the day. As I was saying before, I did mess up. So we're at 27% battery right now. Um, I screwed up because my Pixel was tethered to my iPhone because I'm dumb. Um, and I realized it very late. I do think that the battery life would have been much, much better if I had caught that sooner. So the fact that we're still at 27% though, after being up since 6.30 a.m. Is, is pretty dope. Like clearly the battery on this guy is very good and the optimization is only gonna get better the more I continue to use it. So I'm gonna save some battery here and turn my maps off because I do know the way to the studio from here and then we'll, we'll continue over there. Okay, that took a little bit longer than expected. 5.04 p.m. and we are at 22% battery. Pretty much the home stretch here, but luckily we are like right at the studio. Um, I don't know if we're gonna make it till the end of the day on this battery life here. Sorry, it's kind of bright. Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna make it to the end uh, with this much battery life. We only got 22%. Luckily, we're right at a studio. I don't wanna charge it though. If I do that, then that pretty much defeats the whole purpose of this video in seeing whether or not this can last for the entire day. Do this, we're gonna spend probably an hour here and then obviously the commute back and it's gonna be a tight one. I think I'll put battery saver on because allegedly with battery saver from start to finish, this is supposed to last a hundred hours. So 22% should last like by my math, seven hours. Yo, what's going on? I thought it was a classical. I didn't want to interrupt you. Oh, no, no, no. Kind of like the lab. Usually it doesn't look like this, but um, yeah, try to 3D print and you know, try to keep as organized as possible. We have eight channel, uh, Black Magic Design, Extreme ISO, the Rode, uh, the Rodecaster Pro 2, and also the Duo to do six people. We send those into a little cute little three channel mixer, and then this underneath is a wireless transmitter. But that's just the boring part. The best part is more the actual studio itself. I'll turn the lights on. The actual studio lighting, we just use like Aperture, uh, AKA Amaran products, and it's just with the Sidus Link app, so. That's sick. Yeah, we can just remotely change. We have different scenes and setups for different people. So right now we currently have four shows being run out of here every week. So we have a Monday night, a Tuesday night, a Thursday during the day, and then we have a Thursday during the evening. So yeah, we have currently four Blackmagic 6Ks, all recording to SSDs. Each one of them is probably a one terabyte. Stuff back here, that's all for Tori Webster's show. And yeah, so you have to reset the whole studio. That's why it kind of looks like a bomb hit this side, mm -hmm. unfortunately. So this stuff is all foam. I think, did I show you this before? Yeah, this was cool. So this is all like magnetic foam that we've painted. Your general XPS foam, like a lot of cosplayers, modelers, they kind of shape this into all sorts of things, like it's quite versatile and relatively cheap. Even all these things, these are all like 3D printed handles. That's a Sharpie line. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Those are all fake, those are not real drawers. So this, he's talking about this right here. These are not real. Just plastic, they're painted gold. So that's actually like a one whole, pa one whole panel. So if you see this. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a good segue because I was gonna ask you to look at this. So Google gave me a pink phone. Uh, you use iPhone, right? Yeah, I'm an iPhone guy. A couple but, family members have pixels. Yeah. So it always, this always bothers me. It's even like any smartphone. The visor? No, just like the bump. Yeah, so you like, can't, it can't sit flat. Yeah. This one sits better on a table though. Does it? Like I'm, maybe because the cameras and lenses, I'm just like, don't put it down, like lens yeah. down. Like I'm always doing this. 
Yeah. I like the color though. Actually, when you think about it, as a as pink goes, I was upset about it. At first. It's not like, it's not like, like yeah. right in your face like pink. Too is saturated. It? So the other yeah. model is like this pink here. Oh, okay. They call it peony. Peony or peony? P i o n y. Yeah, peony. That's like a yeah, that's, that's like a flower. flower. Yeah. yeah. So it's. You broke it already. I'm sure. Is it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, did I drop it today? <laughs> trying to figure out what I did. Yeah, I was like right here. See that? Like the the design. I thought oh, it was a little. Yeah. I kept thinking that's a crack. I was like, oh. So it shoots up to 8K. Oh jeez. I don't know why you need that. 8K? What frame rate? You can do 8K up to 30. 4K up to 60 the max jeez and this is the 48 megapixel ultra wide still obviously same setup sound treated room look we taste makers ground breakers we crown shakers moved inside the margin we're writing that's how we found paper hustling nature since we was riding back on the scooter razors had no stable footage since then i've been an earthquaker huh. brown sugar and cinnamon don't think that i'm the greatest i just settle for the synonyms hey they wonder what's got it into him i took a couple losses my i'm trying to win again and win again and win again i ain't taking yeah. many minutes my destiny is <laughs> as always it's been a pleasure has been i gotta bounce last update of the day for where this phone is at so it is 701 p.m and we are at 17 percent and we've actually been going since 6 30 a.m so oh wow it's doing pretty well that pink power huh pink power 7 30 a.m so i'll keep in touch bro i'll see you later Better, dude. Easy. Take it easy. So I've been friends with Jamie since we were pretty much kids or he had originally shown me that podcast set up last May when everything was still kind of under construction and now it looks incredible. So I can only imagine what it would be like to actually shoot in there. Um, we're hoping to plan something for the future. I might do a couple reviews out of the studio. Um, I want to do like a live watch along out of the studio for the Apple event and a couple upcoming tech events so that if that's something that you're into, you gotta let me know down below so we can make that happen because I'm definitely looking forward to it. So yeah, basically all that's left now is to head back home. It's gonna be a bit of a drive. The traffic's gonna be crazy. I know it's just Monday, but it is after seven. So this is usually when it gets the busiest. I really gotta use the washroom. I wanna get something to eat. But what we've got left when I get home is I still gotta crush the edit for not only this, but also the full review for the Pixel 9 Pro XL. Um, I got to do the entire talking head for that. So I left way too much work for myself today, but this is what happens, man. This is why my sleep score is so low on, on my ring all the time. This is one of the best parts of creating content is coming home to random packages. I don't even know what these are. One I know is from Nomad. They got a new product out, but I'm not sure what that is. So we'll see once we finally get inside. Finally back home, the traffic wasn't too bad. I did keep Google Maps on just to keep it realistic and see if we can actually kill this battery. So it is 8.34 p.m. and we are at 4% battery. I think it's doing pretty well. It asked me if I wanna turn extreme battery saver on and I did not. All in all, I think the battery life on this is pretty good. And bear in mind, like I've been saying numerous times, I forgot to turn my tethering off. I had a hotspot going most of the day and that definitely drains your battery. So this 4% even is unfair. So one of my favorite things about being a content creator, especially in the tech space, is the fact that you're always getting random packages. I know what one of these is. I don't know what this one is. So you guys are gonna find out at the exact same time as me. So let's crack this open. I kind of have a feeling that it might be a speaker from Marshall, but I can't say for sure. So yeah, got it. So this is the Marshall Middleton. This is actually a replacement. Um, if you follow me on IG and TikTok, you probably saw a video a couple months back about how I got a speaker from a brand that appeared to be used, like it was filthy. Um, so it looks like they sent me a brand new speaker to replace that one. So very excited about this. Shout out to the folks at Marshall for honoring their promise and sending me a completely brand new one. As for the next one, this one I know is from Nomad. Double bagged it. So they sent the brand new Stand One Max. This is the third gen. This one is a Qi 2 charger. So you've got a phone stand here for your iPhone, Apple Watch stand, and then behind the stand, another charger for your AirPods. You could also just charge your AirPods on 
this guy here since they share the same charger now, which is pretty cool. This is what it looks like here on the back. And then because this actually requires a 30 watt charger in order to run everything on it, they sent me this really cool USB-C charger that has a flat profile so you can fit it behind tons of furniture and whatnot. Like this is gonna be very, very useful. Like look how thin that is. I haven't taken it out of the package obviously, but look at the size of this thing. So after a shoot like the one that we had today, the first thing that I always do when I get home before anything else is to make sure that I plug in my laptop and quickly get the footage off that SD card as soon as possible. I do not trust SDs for anything, bro. Like immediately off the card and onto the laptop. The next thing is you don't ever really truly know what the footage is gonna look like. So that's always a nerve wracking experience in itself. So let me quickly just plug in this SSD and shout out to Siobhan cause this thing crazy handy. So grab my SD, toss it in this bad boy here. Technically I could just use this, but just do it the right way. Do it the way that we always do. A little bit of good juju and let's see what we've got. So because I'm not a rookie, I actually already offloaded before leaving everything that we did this morning up to when I first left the house. So these are all just clips from the drive downtown and everything that I did since then. 83.67 gigs, so that's not too bad. So that's gonna take about 15 minutes or so. So what I'm gonna do in the meantime is I realize that it's Monday night, which means I've got garbage and recycling to do tomorrow. So I'm gonna quickly take all that stuff out. By the time I get that done, the transfer should be completed or at least I would hope so. And then I'm pretty much just gonna spend the rest of the night cooking. So I'm gonna record the A-roll for my final review of the Pixel 9 Pro XL. And then if we have enough time, I'm gonna edit the day in the life as well. I'm trying to get everything out right at launch. So that's why the schedule today has been so hectic. It's just trying to stay ahead of the game, man. So as always, I appreciate y'all for taking the time to watch this. For those of you who did, if you actually made it this far for whatever reason, don't forget to give me a quick thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you actually enjoyed it. But that's pretty much it from me. Much love as always, throwing up two of them, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.